Really girls, it's Kat. I am back for another video in a different location. It's been a little while since I've seen you. I know I posted a video that I had posted that I had made before, um, before I left. But anyways, I'm down here in our beach cottage in Panama City Beach, Florida. Excuse the lips. I thought, you know, I'm going to go on camera. I'm going to do a little bit of lip plumping before I go on and, you know, because I hadn't done it for a while. So I got out my little handy dandy full lips plumper thing. You can see the line around there. <laughs> I don't know. The more that I use these things, the more that it scares me to actually get lip injections because this look, I don't like. Now, I would like it if it was a little bit smaller, but I'm always afraid. It doesn't matter because you can, you know, it'll go away after six months or something, but I'm always afraid it's going to end up looking like this. But anyways, so excuse that. It'll go down throughout the video. I just couldn't wait because I have a few videos that I wanted to post. My hair, excuse the hair too. Um, we had boxes and everything being sent down here and my curling irons are in one. And I was going to buy another one down here, but I thought I have like a really good one that's coming down here. So I don't want to buy another one. So I've just been rocking the, you know, putting your hair in braids at night and kind of rocking that beach tussle look kind of a thing it's been working for a while and my top my jumper as they call them um uh from wild fox and i believe it was gina for or from key lime kisses who had mentioned to me she saw that they had the israeli jumper on wild fox i'll give you a little view of what it said well, that feels like very <laughs> that feels very trishapatous of me doing that um but it basically it says enjoy coca-cola in Hebrew going the right to left. So that's what it says there. And I got the the yellow with like the hot pink on it. I just love this. It's just really cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So that was that. And I wanted to show you something. I'll show you what I have on my eyes right now. I was playing with this tonight and I kind of like it. I not this look that I've done, but I did a look that I didn't film yesterday that I really liked with it. But I just tried a tutorial that I saw online here with this. And I finally got my hands on the Lime Crime Venus palette. And yes, I know there's all kinds of controversy with this. Um, I did buy this and I did use my PayPal to buy this with. I'm not saying anything about um, Doe, who is the owner of Lime Crime, her company. I just wanted to get my hands on this palette because I loved all of the colors in this, as you can see. beautiful colors. A couple that I really love a lot. I love this shell color and then this rebirth. Oh, they. And then this Venus. I mean, these are just gorgeous, especially if you have blue eyes. Gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, powdery, you know, they're a good quality. I wish I had something to wipe my hands off on. Oh, I do. In my haul that I have coming up, I have some Kleenexes. Um, they're, you know, they're okay quality. They're not anything that I you know, I like the colors. You know, personally, I have got those wet and wild ones, and these feel pretty much like the wet and wild ones do because the wet and wild ones are so good. Um, so, you know, but I just like the colors, and I wanted to get it and try it, and I can't talk and do things at the same time. Hold while pressing here, opening up my Kleenexes, my little Barbie Kleenexes that I have in a dollar store haul that I have coming up. Okay, let me get that off my fingers before it gets all over my yellow Israeli top. Okay, so I wanted to show you something else. Okay, so I have that. I have that on my eyes right now. Ignore the lips, like I said. And um, then I have on, uh, I've been using this. I have been, this is just on my chest, so you can't really see it in this light. And it's probably worn off right now. But I've been, I've been rocking my Laura Mercier, the body bronzer. The Radiance Baked Body Bronzer that I got last year. And it is just so, so pretty. It's just really a pretty, sparkly glow for your chest. Really, and a big one. I mean, this will last forever. So I've been wearing that. Then I told you again about my full lips that I've done. I use the body bronzer. I use this big old Marc Jacobs big bronzer brush to put it on. I love this. This is one of the first videos that I did. I just love this. It's really heavy and weighted, and I really love that. I have on this eyeliner, it's bronze. It's from Marc Jacobs. It's one of their gel 
eyeliners. The only thing I don't like about these, and this is the color, it's so pretty. It's really, really pretty. The only thing I don't like about these is that they are soft, which is good. Um, I don't like sharpening them. They have this little thing at the end to sharpen them with. You see that thing and you put this, you roll this up a little bit and you put that there and I just can never get it quite right and I always end up wasting it. So my tip is never really good and pointy. So that's the only thing I don't like about these. When I do wear contacts, it has transferred onto my contacts. Um, still suffering with that dry eye problem, so I'm trying to stay away from wearing contacts at all. I do have some daily throwaway ones that I really love, but I'm having a problem with my eyes. Uh, Lori, LL42863, you are got a birthday coming up. I remember that because 42863 is your birthday, so happy birthday coming up. But she had mentioned, this is why I love YouTube so much. She had mentioned that maybe it was my CPAP, because I use CPAP, I have sleep apnea, at night and it was leaking into, in, into my eye. And I didn't even think about that. And I told my eye doctor that and she said, that's probably what it is. And I have a mask that I have had for quite a while. I just haven't gotten in. I've got new doctor and then I have to get back in. I have a prescription to get another mask, but it's just the whole thing. I have to go back in and get fitted for it. It's stuff that didn't get done and it should have gotten done. And you can't just buy a mask and then you have to have a prescription. I just, I would love to just go online right now and buy one like all the line. I do have a prescription, but then they want to do this kind of like little fitting test too. It's just like, it's just like buy, let me buy a mask. It's like, what's the big deal? A mask. So anyways, I'm looking at the wrong place. I hope I'm looking at the right place. I'm getting a little confused. I haven't been videotaping for a while. I'm so glad to be back. I've missed everybody. I have so, I've been watching your videos when I can. We have gotten, uh, we, for a while when we got in here, we had, um, a little problem with the internet it was we had to use my husband's phone as a hotspot to get internet and then it, he had to just do work and so we couldn't really have and we just had 3g so having everybody you know especially if I was while trying to watch your videos wasn't really working with that so anyways we got the people in now we got that all worked out so we have that now just need to get more furniture I'm sitting in an Adirondack chair right now that's the furniture and a bed what we have right now the lipstick I am wearing I have sore around my heavily inflated lips. And I have Soar, which I love. This is MAC Soar. Just love that color. And then I have been rocking a lot the Love Affair by, by, by Terry. By, by Terry. And that is that color that I just, I can't get enough of. I just love that color. Yeah, I need to make my lips look any bigger right now. Okay, so, and then I have this sample of this mascara that I love. It is the um, Sumptuous Mascara. It is by Estee Lauder. It's just a little sample. You know, you get all these things. And I, you know why I like this? It's got a really nice wand, the perfect kind of Christmas tree bristle wand. The texture is not too light, not too goopy, not too thin, easy to get off. Perfect everyday mascara. I used to have a Chantecaille mascara that was like this too. That was just kind of like that perfect mascara. You know, when I really want to get that oomph lashes, I will put on my Le Volume de Chanel or my, um, the one by The Real that, you know, to give you those real good, thick, clumpy, but that's just like heck to get off. So this is a really good, and you can kind of, you can, you can build it up, definitely put more layers on that, but I really am liking the, I'm forgetting about these, just the everyday mascaras that are just so good. So I have a ton of samples. I'm going to be trying a bunch of different samples, but okay, that was that. And the other thing that I want to show you was something that I got when I was down here. We, um, okay, so I'm going to do a whole story. Um, but my husband and I were, you know, it's been raining basically every single day down here, raining, 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 like torrential rain. And um, one day that it cleared up and we went over and it was just about the golden hour, just about sunset. And we went over to the beach and we were standing there and we were basically by ourselves. And uh, my husband, Ari, went back to the car. Um, we were driving off. We were going to go out and get some coffee. And he went back to the car just a second. I thought he was going to grab a cigar and come back out there and talk to me some more. So he went back to the car, the car, and he brought out this box. And I know this box because I've gotten Sam's Club jewelry before. So he brought up this box, and this is the inside of the box, the little pillow. 
that it came wrapped on and I got another tennis bracelet. So here is my tennis bracelet that I got. It's got the nice, we tried to go take it to a jeweler to get another safety clasp because I've actually lost these before. And um, they would just have to put a chain to connect this. And so if the case it came off, that just a chain would hook onto it. So I may do that. But um, before I had two safety clasps, clasps, but this does have two on there. It locks into place and then it snaps. But I had a snap closure on each side before. So it was like three. So we're gonna go back to the old jeweler that we had to try to have it, that done. Because once you've lost something of expense, you don't wanna lose it again. So this is it. Um, I, you know, it's, I'm very lucky. I'm very blessed. Sometimes I hate showing things like this. I really do because it's like, you know, I know not everybody can afford things like this. We're just blessed and lucky to have been, you know, my husband's been successful in his business and good investments and things like that. So we can, and we don't have any kids. So we're not worried about, you know, it's, it's kind of things like that. So I'm just going to say that I, I, I'm honestly from my heart saying, I'm not trying to be braggadocious by showing this, but I know that a lot of my girls love diamonds and I just wanted to share this with you. So this is round cut and it is 12 and a half carats and they are very white. Um, with diamonds like this, when they're on your hand like this, you don't have to worry about getting into the VS, VS2. You know, you can get SI2, SI3, which is actually basically I believe like an I1 and be okay because no one's gonna come really that close. This actually is a VS2. So we were just lucky in getting it like that. Um, um, so very, very, you know, just loving of it. Very, very white diamonds. Very, it's, it's colorless, it's near colorless. It's DE in the color. Um, you can see as opposed to my diamond, which is basically that as well. Very white as opposed to those other diamonds that I had got for my earrings that I took us a couple hundred dollars to ensure to have returned to them. But the reason we got it from Sam's Club, my mom has worked, this looks like I have a mustache, I'm sorry. Next video, come back, it won't have that. And my lips are going down. Oh, I can see them, they're going down now. Don't look at yourself, Kat. Um, so the, my mom worked in, in very high-end jewelry stores her whole life. I mean, she was like number one in sales. It was like her calling. It was her thing. So from the very beginning, since I was very little, I know, I knew color, cut, clarity. I knew all this about diamonds, and I would be funny in school, and I would talk to my friends about it. And I had a little diamond since I was six years old, and my first piercings I got were little diamonds. And it's just something that, you know, a family thing we're into. My dad even would go and buy diamonds. He would go to Las Vegas, and they would go out to Las Vegas every year and buy them at pawn shops, find the really good ones. Back then, he would buy gold coins and, pawn, and, and diamonds. And um, back in the 70s, when it was something he could still do. Pawn shops now, it's kind of really hit or miss. You really have to get the, the real high-end pawn shops you're not going to get a deal on. Anyways, so Sam's Club. Okay, so when she retired, she retired a couple of different times, and she worked in really high-end guild jewelry stores. And in fact, my, my cousin who works at Tiffany's down in Houston says that people still know my mom in the whole, it's a kind of a small community of people who are just lifetimers who are like the number one salespeople. And anyways, so she said she worked, long story short, she came to live with us and worked at Sam's Club in Scottsdale, you know, while after she retired and she loved it. And she really realized that um, the, the quality of diamonds that Sam's Club has is cannot be beat because they really do buy in, in such volume. And if you get, these are GIA certified. These aren't just certified by some fancy schmoes, you know, certification thing that a lot of companies have. These are GIA, GIA certified. And Sam's Club also has, for, for people don't know this either, for Sam's Club jewelry, um, they ask you if you want to have, I guess you, there's my phone, it's my husband. Call you back, honey. <laughs> I get to change my ringtone. Um, okay, for Sam's Club, people don't realize that. Um, if I could edit, I would edit this part out. Anyway, it was had my hat. My phone has like tiny, like one percent left of charge. If I answered it, it wouldn't be able to. Do it. I'll call him back after this. Anyways, okay, what was I talking about now? I don't know how to make a video. I feel like I'm all over the place. Um, 
so for diamonds at Sam's Club, they ask you if you want to buy that protection, like if it, if you miss a stone or if you lose anything, you pay you know a few hundred dollars for its lifetime and you can have that done. People don't realize that Sam's Club at any point will return this. If you want to return this in like 10 years from now after a stone has fallen out, Sam's Club is like, Sam's Club's Walmart. Sam's Club is seriously, they, they back their stuff up. So never, if you go there, never buy anything like that. And if it's GIA certified, this is the diamonds that the people in the high-end jewelry stores are getting. And they get it and they have such, my mom, my mom when she worked at those really high-end jewelry stores saw the cost markup that jewelry had. I mean, it's like astronomical. Um, there are really crappy places to buy diamonds like K Jewelers where they don't have, you know, a real good cut. Cut is a big thing to get the sparkle. I mean, you want to have a fire from across the room even if it's completely not clean. You know, you don't want to have to have it steamed clean to get a fire from across the room. But, um, so Sam's Club stands behind their stuff. And we try, because I want, I have two other tennis bracelets and they're smaller than this one. One is like a six carat and one is, I think that's, it's a, like a princess cut four and a half carat was the first one I'd ever got. And I, I love those, I wear those all the time, but I wanted one bigger. Um, a bigger one and so he had known that we had been looking at this and we had tried in New York to find something and they were really we, it was priced out they were you know for this quality and for this size we were looking at like 25k up so um, anyways I thought that this was it just he we, I knew that we were looking at it. I just didn't know. I thought we were going to get it for my birthday or whatever. And I didn't know. He had said that it came. We had ordered it. It's only online only. And it had came in the mail right before we left. So he brought it. He carried it on the plane. And he carried it here to give it to me on the beach. So long story short, and I hope, if you guys like these diamond stories, let me know. Because I can keep on bringing. Because that's part of the glamorous life too is diamonds. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. So this is it. I will put it on for you. Um, this is a seven inch, which fits me perfectly. I do have one that is a seven and a half inch that um, I like to wear when I have other stuff on so I can kind of like layer it. I'm looking down to get this in, there we go. And then I take the clasp like this, see the little clip like that? And then you go behind it, if I can show you, and then you snap it like that. So it snapped in. So I mean, I just you look at this stuff. You're in the car. You look at your you look at your diamonds. You look at your sparkle. You just look at everything like that. So that was that. I'm very happy. I'm very blessed. Um, let me know, girls. I'd like to know this. I'm just curious. My dream diamond piece would be a pink diamond. We were looking at that before, and a pink diamond for what I want because I don't want just a small little one is so so expensive for a good one, and I wanted. A nice color in the pink too that you that's a lot of the, the cost too is what color of pink that you want um, so I would love to get that in like a heart-shaped pink diamond big you know and I like my diamonds set in white gold my mom did it in yellow gold because that was really in so a lot of the stuff that I inherited for her I still have things in safe deposit box that I inherited for, from her like a lot that are all in yellow gold that Part of me. I know at the end of, of her life, she had wanted to get those remounted into platinum or white gold because she had then like the look of white gold too, but she had just had never did it. So that part of me says, okay, then it's okay to remount them because I want to wear them. Because she's got one ring I'll show you when I get back home. If anybody would like to see it, that's a really big cluster diamond ring. It's a big gold nugget and she's got just big honking diamonds all over that I would like to, I don't know what to do with it because a few of the diamonds on there are real old. Um, that was really kind of her hodgepodge rings of when she would collect and get diamonds. People would do trade-ins in the jewelry store and then she'd buy them real quick. Um, some of them are the old miners cut diamonds so they're you know not worth as much but just sentimentally it was like my mom was known for this, this big honking rings that she had in her hand. So anyways, if you could have any diamond, what shape would you like? For a while I was into princess cuts. I still like it. My mother was just telling me, telling me, telling me, even before I got my, she died right, right before I got my engagement ring. In fact, we were married. We were supposed to have a, a bigger ceremony and she was going to be a part of it. We were married. My mother's birthday was August 16th. So she died May 7th and we had our ceremony on her birthday. 
um, August 16th to kind of, I don't know. I didn't want to have anything big then because my mom couldn't be a part of it. So it was like, you know, I just didn't want to do that. I, do, I tend to do things like that. See, I'm, I'm all over the place. I tend to do things big after I have a big loss. Like I did that, I, I got married right after this, like a few months later. And then after my father passed away, I was planning this surgery already and he knew it, but I went on and had that surgery. If anybody would like an update on my weight loss, I would like to give you that as well. Just let me know, give me a thumbs up or let me know about that. I'm rambling on for 20 minutes. I have just missed you and I want to come back. I have a dollar, haul, dollar store haul to show you. I have found, I have found the way, what, much to the happiness of my husband who is so very happy that I have found a way to dollar store goodies. But I will talk to you very soon and remember to keep living your most glamorous life. And to me, what that means is take time for yourself. You always feel better even if you're down to put some makeup on, to do a little bit of your hair, to pamper yourself even if you can't afford just luxury, luxury bath products. You know, I go on Etsy a lot of the times and buy their bath bombs like that or get their bath bombs at Walmart and light a little Walmart dollar store candle in there and, and pamper yourself. Take time at night to brush your hair and to put lotion on and, you know, just and put music on and, and take care of yourself because this is the only self that we get. And if we don't love, who does that right, RuPaul say, that if, if you don't love your, yourself, how the hell is anybody else going to love you or something like that? I love that RuPaul. She's just amazing. So with that, I will talk to you soon and keep living your most glamorous life. Bye-bye.